Hi students, welcome back to the channel Commerce with Chaitanya. So we are in our chapter NPO and we are doing income and expenditure account. In our previous class, we have successfully finished sixth problem. So today I am going to solve seventh problem which is in your textbook. So without any late, shall I read? From the following receipt and payment account of Sri Kala Nilayam Nirmala for the year ended 31st March 2019 prepare income and expenditure account. So this is a Sri Kala Nilayam. NPO, uh, NPO name is Sri Kala Nilayam. So this is the receipt and payment account. So receipt side balance we won't take and subscriptions are given for 3 years. Only current year subscriptions we are going to take which is 2019. 18 to 19 we are going to take. So entertainment receipt 2080 and sale of old furniture 320 and book value is given. So book value is 120. So more than the book value we sold it for more than the book value which is 200 is more than that. So which is a profit for us. So we sold it for 320 actual value is 120. So profit. So income side we need to post and coming to the payment side salary is 3000, entertainment expenses 1600, general expenses 600, investment 2000, printing 1400, furniture 800 and this balance we won't take. So coming to the adjustments, outstanding salaries, always add outstanding, okay. This is the current year outstanding, so add to salaries. Subscriptions outstanding for 2018 to 19. So this is a current year outstanding subscriptions. So add to subscriptions. Then depreciate furniture by 10%. Depreciation is given. So 800 is the value of furniture. So 800 on 800, 10% 80. So let us solve the problem. So income and expenditure account of Sri Kala Nilayam. Sri Kala Nilayam which is Nirmal. Okay. The NPO is in Nirmal. So, so this is the format. You know that this is the format expenditure amount, income and amount. So, uh, expenditure will show on debit side, income on credit side according to the nominal account. So, let us start with the expenditure. First expenditure is salaries. So, two salaries. There is an adjustment. Outstanding salaries are given. So, salary is 3000. Salary is 3000. And add outstanding. Whenever outstanding is given, Current year outstanding, simply you need to add 3500. Next, uh, entertainment expenses 1600. So, to entertainment expenses 1600. And next, to general expenses to general expenses. General expenses are 600. Next uh, to investments. So, investment is an asset. So post it in a balance sheet. So coming to printing. Okay. Printing. Printing expenses. Okay. Printing is 1400. And uh, furniture is also asset. But here depreciation on furniture is given. According to the nominal account. Debit all expenses and losses. Depreciation is a loss. So, which we need to debit. So, depreciation on furniture. So, what is the amount of furniture? 800. So, amount of furniture is 800. Simply, so 800, 10 percent. 0, 0, 0, 0, cancel, 80. So, depreciation on furniture is 80. Payment side is over, coming to receipt side, I mean income side. So, 
subscriptions first uh, we'll start with the subscriptions so always in a income and expenditure account in uh, income side subscriptions will come first subscriptions what is the amount of subscriptions here three years subscription is given so only current year we are going to consider so current year subscriptions are 4500 and outstanding subscription for current year so outstanding always add outstanding okay current year is 1000 1000 is the amount so 5500 is the amount next uh, entertainment receipts so entertainment receipts are recurring in nature so write it on a income side entertainment receipts what is the amount of entertainment receipts 2080 2080 is the amount next to sale of old furniture 320 so sale of old furniture 320 book value also given 120 so sale value is more than book value which is a profit actual value of books is 120 but we sold it for 320 means uh, profit okay profit on sale of furniture sale of old furniture profit on okay sale of old furniture 320 okay minus 120 so 200 is the profit okay mm. is there anything left depreciation provided and outstanding okay provided outstanding salary is also okay over so very simple and very easy problem now make the total i'm closing account simply make the totals okay income side first why because always income side is more than the expenditure side so 5500 Six seven thousand five hundred and eighty six seven thousand five hundred seven thousand seven hundred and eighty seven thousand seven hundred and eighty is the income side and expenditure side is three thousand five hundred four thousand five thousand one hundred six thousand seven thousand one hundred seven thousand one hundred and eighty. Seven thousand one hundred and eighty is the expenditure side. So, income side is more than the expenditure side. So, simply deduct zero six. So, surplus amount is six hundred. So, write the highest amount on both sides. Seven thousand seven hundred and eighty. Seven thousand seven hundred and eighty. Income is more than the expenditure, so six hundred is the surplus amount. So, okay. so very simple and very easy problem. If you remember the important points, what are the important points? First one is only current year transactions we are going to post. Okay, only current year transactions we are going to post. okay previous year next year simply we deduct and uh, second thing is only revenue expenses and incomes we consider in this accounts so what is revenue recurring recurring expenses in our day to day business activities the amount which we spend that we will take in a expenditure side and recurring incomes we will take okay so revenue expenditure revenue income and current year transactions we post and uh, according to the nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all income side gains so remember these three things it is very easy to solve the problem and i hope you like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you